Greetings, I am Harry Larry from Gary, and this is episode 1446 of The Sims 4 Gallery Lots, and this particular lot is called Romantic Victorian. It is on a 40 by 30, lot type residential, and poop. A little bit of a description you're more welcome to read, and a lot of hashtags as well. All right, let's go through these photos and see if it does a lot justice. Kind of. Sort of. And sort of, yeah. Kind of a mixed bag on that one, but don't worry. We're going to take a look at the real thing right about, about now. Yes, it's an early morning right now. Oh, there is no back door, so I'm going to have to work my way around. Yeah, this place looks pretty. All right, let's go down, take a look around. Wow, I like the look of this place. All right, let's get a forward view of this place. That looks cute. Okay, now let's go on in. We'll take a look at the property before we go on inside. So it's way pool side or gazebo side. Gazebo side it is. It's always nice to have a big stereo like that. Ooh, there's some bubbles there. Yeah, that looks really pretty. Nice little area. Well, this looks really pretty over here. Nice little barbecue area. And before I forget, this lot is playable, but there is a couple of things you might want to do. You don't have to, but you might want to. And I'll show it to you when we get over there. Yeah, this is a fun built backyard. Definitely a really pretty looking too. I like the meandering path. Uh, so Bob's already tired out. Do you believe he's recharging right about now? Yeah, this looks really pretty. Yeah, 
Yeah, beautiful lawn. All right, let's go take a take a look at these dual sided decks. Oh, perfect area just for a port swing. Actually, support swings on both sides. Someday, I hope we actually do get some port swings. We'll find out. Hmm. Looks like there's a roof piece coming through, but you do not see it during gameplay. Ooh, I found the thermostat. I know, it was pretty hard. I am glad you were here with me for it. A nice little game room area. And as you can see, the fireplace is not lit. Um, the table and chairs footprint is overlapping the fireplace if you actually want the fireplace to work. Just move the table and chairs over one, you should be fine since there is plenty of room in here. So that was one. The other one should be in this room, if I remember right. The other thing they may want to fix. Obviously, you don't have to, but that's up to you. Nope, it ain't that one. It's another other fireplace, if you're wondering. One neat thing, though, the Sims cannot get past the, that end table, but they can sit on both sides of the couch. They just have to work their way around the end table. That looks really pretty, though. Oh, got the magic cube. Make one last capture. Up to the next rooms. What do you think this is? Maybe an office? No, not an office. Huh, it's a half bath. That's a unique. All right, what's over on this side? The rest of the bathroom? Let us see. Well, before we go any farther. Yes, I am waving. You're more than welcome to wave back. Or not. Oh, and we got loo paper as well. Yeah, that's unique for bathrooms. Oh, that's the stairs, not a roof line. Okay, let's go take a look at the dining area. And as you can see, the fireplace was not lit. So the chair that's closest to the fireplace right now is in the way its footprint anyways. 
if you do not want, you can set my chair anyways, but if you do not want to change anything in here, what I would suggest is just moving the fireplace outside, lighting it, and then putting it back. And you will not take away from anything aesthetically anyways. It'll stay like this, and you got yourself a fireplace. And, of course, once you light it, you don't have to worry about it. Well, that's cool. I like this kitchen. And I haven't seen anything else yet. There we go. It's looking all the types of sexy. Yeah, that works out well. At least in my humble opinion. And if you're wondering, yes, yes, I did say this kitchen's all sorts of sexy. If you actually want me to define that, yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to, but <laughs> it's okay. Okay, let's go upstairs. I did like the kitchen, though. Well, that looked really cool. Anything right behind us? A little bit. Well, that looks really nice, actually. With the ottoman with a table above it. Which way? I think we'll go start with this door. Oh, there's a lot of doors. Hi, Edgy. All right, if that tree popping through bothers you, obviously you just have to move the tree a smidge away. Actually, probably about half a grid, if not a full grid. Which tree is it? That one. Is there enough room? Well, it looks like there's enough room. Except your tree will be going through the wall. But then again, your tree's already going through the wall. Then I'm done. But for me, I probably would leave it. Ooh, I like the look of this place. Ooh, another unique bathroom. Is it the full bath this time? Nope, just a toilet room. Or a loo room if you prefer. I wonder if that one over there is the bathtub again. Oh, this has got to be a gigantic room. No, it's not. But it's a cute kid's room. A toddler room, actually. Because those are toddler beds. See, they don't actually get to sleep in a bed for once. Inside the house, instead of on the corner of the lot. Poor little guy. Ooh, I kind of like that look right there. Yeah, that looks really nice in here. Oh, 
Ooh, then we moved up to the kids' room. Hey, Nelly. Yeah, I definitely like the look of this. All right, bathtub only? Let's find out. Oh, we got ourselves a washer and dryer. That is always nice. And we got ourselves a shower. Slash bath. Kind of looks like there's a mirror there, doesn't it? Beautiful room. I like this build. I do believe we already seen that one. I don't know if this is the front or back. Maybe it's the back. So let's go find the corner. We'll take a closer look at this build. And of course, as always, if you ended up enjoying this lot and or video, you're always more welcome to give this video a thumbs up. I like that look right there over off to the right. Let's see if I can get a little bit of that on the left as well. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. If you find yourself enjoying my content and you're not a subscriber, well, you're always more than welcome to subscribe. And, of course, if you do that, don't forget to hit that notification button and or bell. Why? Well, normally I publish three videos a day. Not always, but normally. Two from the gallery lots and one from Maxis. Ooh, I'm not going to be able to get that as well as I like. Okay, that'll work. To those of you who already are my subscribers, why well, thank you very kindly, and hopefully I keep on making content that you enjoy watching. Well, I like that look as well. If you have anything to say, you're always more welcome to put it in the comments. If you know anybody who would like to see this lot in video form, you're also more than welcome to share this video. And, of course, the most important thing of all, please take a look at this creator's other creations. And that looks really nice. I don't think there was a way up there. No, but it looks like you could put a door somewhere here and make that little area accessible. I think I might. All right. 
right, let's go for a top down view. And as you can see, no problem whatsoever with the uh, ceilings. If you're wondering, there is a third floor, but no way to get up here. And that's up to you. If you want to put a ladder somewhere out here, or even stairs, and utilize the third floor if you so desire. And there is no basement. So let's see if I can find a good spot to showcase this on. That might work right about there. Come over a little bit. I'm not trying. Actually, I think that'll work right there. So, hopefully I'll catch you on the next episode. And until then, later.